Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we continue working with our building La Casa Pura. Uh, so we gonna do the finish the second floor and we are planning to finish roof in this tutorial. So if we will check the, our um, drawings, we will see we don't have the roof plan. We have something like this is side plan. This is not roof plan, but here we pretty nice can see where is our roof and how we should draw it. And I think we will start now from the roof. Our roof is ex have the exactly shape as our uh, the second floor and we will just copy it on the other floor. So how we can do that? We will go to the architecture. Here we will find our roof. Let's find the roof. Uh, the rabbit asking which level should be move the like roof. We will leave it on the second floor, and we will use the pick the line. And let's pick this line. So we just will uh, continue this shape, and this is will be pretty enough for us. I will use the trim key. Let's use the trim tool. Here we are. And now I will uh, check, as you can see here is the angle, but as you can see on the my picture, we have the angle only by two sides and the two opposite sides. So here we don't have any angle. So let's select it, this line, and we will say this not define roof slope. And that one also not define the roof, roof slope. Okay, and let's say okay. And here is our roof. The just one mistake, we have the level 2, we should place it on the level 3. And the angle, it's not correct. If we will look around of that one, it's around uh, maybe 15 degree, not much than 15 degree. Again, I don't have any drawings and this is only my guess. Mm. Yeah, it looks like it's 15 degree. Let's go inside to that and here the slope 30 degree, let's do the 15. Yeah, now it looks like what we want. So here is our roof, as you can see. That part, uh, we have opening. Let's check it out. Uh, I think, yeah, yeah. As you can see, this is opening and here is two. And we will draw this column. So we did it. Now we want to select all these walls. Let's select all these walls. And actually, I will connect only uh, external walls and we will attach to the base. Done. The internal one, we not will do that. We will create the ceiling. So we no need to connect to the till the end. So done with that. And now we will start to do start to make the column. So let's go to the level to not tree view, just a floor plan. Here you have a lot of the columns. Now, as I said always, so you have a unique building, you have a unique structure you have a lot of the ways how you can do that so uh, the first thing you can create this um, this calling like the mullions so this mullions you can create by column if you want you can do it by mm, generic model or you can use even dynamo so this is only up to you if you want to calculate each one panel uh, better to create the some special column. So let's go to the column here the architecture one and uh, As you can see we can create with different size, but it's not so useful when we will change each one So you just can imagine how many types of the columns we will have so this is uh, really terrible for us But we have one solution of that uh, we will create, the, I mean, we will modify our column. Let me, I will place this column, as you can see it here. If I will select it, as you can see, I don't have any um, any instance parameter of the size of this column. Let me, I will change it. Let's go to the edit file. Uh, here I will find the file, uh, I mean types parameters, and here is depth and width. So we want to change it. I will change this parameter to the instance one. Later on you will understand why. And that I will change also to the instance one. Okay, done with that. Uh, here we have some variants, say okay. Let me, I will change the name of this column. I wanna just save as, save as this family uh, project, yes. And let's call then one more folder. We will call it uh, family, zero one dot, family uh, and this will be uh, instant 
instance column. We will live like that. Let's save it and let's load it inside of the project. Here we are. Uh, let's place it one more time and what the difference between the previous column and this one if you select this one to create the different uh, size of that column you should create new type of that for that one you don't need to do that you just select it and as you can see now you have the joysticks here you don't you just can select it and place it as you want so that's the difference you don't need to create any type of this column but it's still the column and you're not using using the generic model this is perfect this is what we want and you just can place it like that and you can do it in even the graphically uh, if you want you no need to just try to follow um, you don't need to just try, try to follow uh, some dimensions but uh, if you want to get uh, the right dimensions in manufacturing you should so let's say this is, will be 60 by 250 so this is much better and after that I will just copy I will just copy like that and I will copy one more time I will not copy I will just move I will understand here the distance will be always same and let me I will do it a bit bigger like that so as you can see here is 280 let's do 280 uh, again let's let me I will copy it okay if you want you can use for example uh, the array but uh, here is a lot of the manual work I don't want to use array for that as you can see here is a bit different distance it's hard to understand because uh, yeah it's actually more bigger distance than I did uh, let me I will place it so it's around it looks like that as I said I'm not trying to copy but I'm trying to do the something like looks like we want 300 millimeters let's do and as you can see the problem is uh, problem is uh, it's going uh, changing the size uh, in both sides this is really terrible for us uh, let me I will go to the architecture here I will find the line I will create the line and here I will create one more line just to guide it it will be like a guidance for me now I will copy uh, multiply I will do multiply copies uh, sorry multiply copies from that side like one one two three four five until the end yeah to hear a lot of the copies you can use array as I said but I don't want to do that okay so done now I will use the line uh, better uh, maybe I should hide the mm, picture because I cannot properly see what's going on and I will align just to the line let me I will align it one by one first you I'm select the host line and after that I'm select the my column okay like that and after that I will uh, able to use again a line if you want like that but it will be a weird result so I will do it manually uh, better to change it directly so this is a 300 millimeter no 230 millimeter right 130 millimeters again a line or no here the move so this is a lot of the manual work uh, yeah this is like that but anyway you will get result the best result for that okay let me I will check uh, here, here it's if it's 330 here here it will be uh, 350 I guess uh, yeah it looks like that let's use the move no, it's much bigger, like that, 280, let's use the again move, why am I using the move not a line, if I will use the line, uh, one side it will be smaller than another, so I don't wanna do that, 370, so yeah, again move, and again place it here, yeah, uh, let me will place that one too, so this is will be, 410 again move 
and place exactly on this line. So when I will finish it, uh, we will continue. So as you can see, I already finished uh, my columns, so I did it. But actually this is not finished because you can see we have here, 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 but it's already the same size as you can see. So it will be pretty simple. I'm just using the, uh, the short key key S, so this means uh, create similar. Let's, let me, I will create similar. I will place it somewhere here. First I will use some line. This will be much better for me. Yeah, this is looks like on some angle. It's not straight as I did. Maybe it's like that. I will use the align key. Let's use the align key and let's align this side to that. Okay, the same size. Actually, maybe it's locate a bit like that. And now we can use array. Yes, now it's better to use array. Let me I will use the array key. And as you can see, here's two numbers, but actually this is not two numbers. I should place some line, maybe like that. And as you can see, now it's two. Let me, I will do the 20. Let me look, no, it's not 20. Uh, even maybe this is uh, 60. Yeah, this is 60 actually, not 60, 50. Let yes, this is 50 and angle it's not correct. So we should change the angle as you can see. Uh, you can just select that one. You can change the a bit angle and just hold on. It's take the time and your array also will change the angle. But this is not way for us. The way for us, we will select all these lines. I will select the rotate. I will select placed center rotation, it will be here. The second point will be here and we will rotate till this line, like that. And as you can see, now it's standing perfectly as I want. The same thing I will do on this side, on that side and here and on this side. And I will back when I will finish it because it will be long and I will do pretty same things. As you can see, I finished my mullion. We have like some few mullions here, but I will do it later on. Let me see how it looks like on the 3D. As you can see on the 3D, we get perfect columns. Here we should think about that uh, side. So let me I will check. As you can see, it's going till the till the end. So we should work also with the height. I think this not a problem for us. Yeah, different height as you can see. It's not problem for us. We should uh, work a bit uh, with uh, the height of uh, each of the mullion. Uh, as you know, uh, first we should ungroup it. Let me I will select all this entire the project and I ungroup it. If you will select each of that, you have instance offset, so you can work with that. This is much better. Or you can use just top base. It's also working because this is a column. So you can just select it, select all entire the project attached to the base and now it automatically will attach to the our roof. So as you can see, just few clicks and it's already connected. And as you can see, we have the different, different top offset for each of that column. We can transfer this parameter to the uh, schedule and work with that. So. Uh, in this tutorial, we already finish we working with uh, this column. Uh, we finish uh, from uh, to create exterior view. In the next tutorial, we continue working to the second floor, and uh, maybe we will start to work with the windows and with the handrail on the second floor. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.